Hello and welcome back to Nutty Plays Borderlands 2. Hopefully in this episode we'll actually make it to Sanctuary, which sort of acts as this game's like hub world. You don't spend too much time there, it's mostly just like uh start. Oh. Oh really? The sanctuary is slightly less so. You'll need a car to reach the city gate. Get to the catcher ride. Ooh, we're gonna get a vehicle in this episode. We're gonna get some Hot Wheels. Pimp my death machine. Okay, I'm done. Holy crap! Does anyone watch MTV anymore? Is that even a thing? Cause I know Pimp my car or Pimp my ride, whatever, was a show on that channel. And then I thought about it. I was like. Is that even channel anymore? Like, I know people like reference it like, oh, they don't even make music videos anymore. Why is it called MTV? And I'm like, like, does it exist? Who watches it? What's on MTV nowadays? It's probably some disgusting, gross crap considering like, I remember MTV being mostly like 16 and pregnant and it just got like more and more just like trashy. So I'm scared to think at this point what's on there. It's probably stuff like, How Gross Is My Vagina? The Show. <laughs> oh no. Don't don't pitch that show to MTV. They might they might this make it. Machine will digitally construct a vehicle for you. Give it a try. Yay! Wow, unauthorized user up in my grill. You trying to hack my catch a ride? Uncool, bro, uncool. Angel, you lying bitch. Damn it. Sorry, uh, darn it. A man named Scooter controls these catch-a-ride machines. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked this station to prevent the bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the Bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the catch-a-ride, oh, I can hack the machine and get you a car. Anyway, I need to sell some stuff. I kind of held off on like buying and selling stuff so you can like hear what Angel was saying. She's a pretty important character in this game, if you haven't gathered that already. But uh, she comes up quite a bit. So try not to forget her. She'll feel super sad. What were we talking about? MTV! Ironic that I was talking about, does anyone remember MTV? And forgot that conversation. Oh yeah, with Gage's Anarchy skill, sniping ye later on will not... He just jumped over that and flipped over... That. That's impressive. Utterly useless, but impressive nonetheless. But like, sniping will not be very effective because I just become more and more or less accurate whenever I kill someone or empty a clip. So, oh, 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 that dude has a bomb. I need to take him out quickly before he gets close to me. Uh, oh, and he, when he dies, he drops the bomb, so best to get away. Aha, and there's another one. But. It's best to use, or with gauge, it's best to use guns that have fast fire rates and like wide, or just shoot many different bullets. Because that way you have, the more bullets you shoot, the better chance you have a hitting. Like accuracy is almost completely irrelevant with anarchy because it, it just, it means nothing after a while. Oh hey, I have a death robot too. He's always nice to have. Go away. Death from above. Bam. Trick shot, Murphy. I do like to jump like on top of my enemies and shoot as I'm falling because it makes me feel like a freaking gun ninja. Like, boom! Oh, hey, I found that thing. Just attach the adapter onto the uh, guns, and I'll get you a free car. Again, you just find guns and chests randomly in different places. Uh, hmm. I might use this instead. It's got a first fireball zoom. That might be nice. Oh, doll weapons, their special, like, manufacturing thing is that when they're zoomed, they burst fire. Regardless of the weapon. Like, even, what you call them, sniper rifles made by doll will burst fire. They're pretty good for snipers, because if it's like a boss, you can shoot them in their weak point many times at once. But for other enemies, it's, mo it's more of a waste of ammo than anything. Also, I've leveled up. I'm going to spend my next point in this skill in a different tree, because it's good to have, called Close Enough. 
What it does is you have a certain chance for bullets that miss to bounce back towards enemies to do less damage. Which uh, seems bad because they do less damage, but with Anarchy missing so much, I want to hit them with whatever bullets I can. Because even if they're doing less with that much Anarchy, you'll be doing a great amount of damage. Also, I'm getting a car. Yay. High five. It went away. Now I just feel like a dick for hitting the machine. Wait a moment while I hack the catcher I'm gonna hit you, Angel. Work faster. Looks like a skeleton. Oh, no. <laughs> Authorized user accepted. Enjoy the ride, and there's a pimento taco, a pimentaco, in the glove box. No, thank you. I'd rather not have diarrhea. Try requesting another car. Ooh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I have all of my skins from my other character. Or, like, the skins for the cards you share between characters, so... <gasps> Bubblegum! Yay! It's kawaii as fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. I shouldn't talk like that. You watch your mouth, Scooter. Oh, I can't drive very well. I'm a terrible driver. This is how I drive in real life. I'm just all over the road, hitting walls. Like every time I see a pedestrian, I go for it. So I'm like, experience! And I kill them. God, handsome Jack, you're like the perfect ass. I love him so. Oh, the reason Gage just screamed was because I ran into that shocking cactus. Which hits you with electricity, and she was like dying. Uh, Let us in, grinder. Got him. We're only gonna kill every last one of ya. Oh, I have to go click on this. That's right. <laughs> Silly me. Doors don't open when you run into them. They open when you open them. Hey, leave me alone. I'm gonna kill this. Yeah, whenever there's a gunfight. Oh. Well, I kind of have to listen to what he says. The quest marker tells me to do what he says. I'm pretty much forced. Anyway. Uh, no, don't hit that again. I did it again. But when there's a gunfight going on. Uh, See, with every tremor, my drill gets closer to the vault, to freedom, order, and safety for us all. Except you assets in Sanctuary. But, okay, let me try this for the third time. Whenever there's a firefight going on and there's a character talking, you might just have to focus on subtitles. I could turn up the voices, or like the sound of the dialogue, but even then it's still going to be hard to hear, so it's you're going to just bear with it. It's a shame, but there you go. Ah, will you stop? Okay, this is obviously not working. I'm going back to my shotgun. <laughs> I like how they all just stop. Like, whoa, whoa, guys. Why? Whoa, whoa, pause. I gotta I gotta dig around in my pockets, okay? Time out, time out. Red light. Green light. There we go. Feels much better. But, oh yes, the uh, close enough skill, the one that causes bullets to bounce back, it's not... Bam. Oh, it's not per shot. It's literally pull per bullet. So, for instance, let me see. This, uh, this gun, the shotguns shoot more than one bullet, but it shoots 13 bullets per pull of the trigger. So every one of those 13 bullets has a chance to ricochet back towards an enemy if it misses. So it's pretty nice, especially when you can't aim like me. I have zero skill. Again, I play this game like an action RPG as opposed to a shooter, and there's a reason for that. I have no skill. I have to grind my way up to victory. I can't win it based on, like, strategy or muscle reflexes or just not sucking in general. Hey, right. die. Like I'm it's already getting harder to do headshots with Gage cuz she's about 30% less accurate now. So uh Why did I get out of my car? What am I doing? I need to go get my car. Excuse me. Uh clap trap. Go take care of those guys for me. Uh with the anarchy skill, there's or anarchy. The Anarchy Tree, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to upgrade Death Trap too much. 
mainly because like this tree focuses on Gage herself. I mean, I'd be powerful enough to survive without him, but he's still just kind of... He just sits on the back burner whenever you do this type of build. And they're off. I do... One of the best things about this game, like compared to the first Borderlands anyway, is there's a much different set... Like the environments are just much better. If anyone's played the original Borderlands, you know like... Wait a minute. But yeah, for anyone who's played the original Borderlands, you know that the scenery was almost exclusively rust and desert. It was depressing and gray-yellow as f f all get out. At least this one has some variety to the environments, and it's, uh, it's really appreciated. It just makes it feel less stale and boring. It's nice, you know? It's nice to kill things to beautiful scenery. I wouldn't have it any other way. Brutal murder is best accompanied with serene tranquility. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. And he's dead. Stop whining, I'm coming, God. Oh, hey, I should get some, I should, I should, oh, I should do something other than die. Oh, also, when you learn out of health in this game, you don't just die automatically. You have like a few seconds to kill an enemy and it'll bring you back up before you die. But if you die, or if you get knocked out in uh, rapid succession, each time you have less and less time to respond, or kill an enemy before you just die. And uh, in boss fights, it's almost moot, or almost pointless, because like, if you get knocked down, there's not many chances you'll be able to take out a boss before you run out of health. So, uh, it's a little eh as to whether or not it's useful, but it could be worse. Oh yeah, this. Uh, oh, there's a badass here. Let's. This will help. Okay, I have to kill this guy. He is going to be hard, probably. Oh, that's right. I can't hit for crap. Is he stuck? Oh, he's not stuck. Uh, let's uh let's start shooting at it. And clap. Death trap's gone. Cool. Perfect time to do that. If I shoot him in the head, he might flinch. Okay, sweet. That helps. Uh, head, 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 head. Yeah. Nice. He didn't drop anything good, but whatever. Oh yeah, badass enemies also have a much higher chance of dropping good loot. So, if you see one, it's best to kill it. Also, they have better experience, so why not? Oh, Hunter. <laughs> didn't think I rated that much of a rescue. One of those psychos ran off with the power core. <laughs> Without it, Sanctuary will be defenseless. <laughs> Get that core back to Sanctuary. Attack my rack. Just gonna take a nap. Speed it up. Wake me up when I'm not on Pandora anymore. Fucking. Yo, I hit a bird with a hammer. I'm impressed. Reese is dead? Yeah. He was one of the first Crimson Lance men I recruited to the Raiders. What's over here? Get that power core back, and while you're at it, kill some bandits for Reese. It's what he would have wanted. Well, it's what I want, too, so like fun it works out like that. Waypoint. Sometimes your Echo device can't find the precise location of what you're looking for. Search the area marked by the big ass green circle on your mini map. Your objective is somewhere in that area. Thank you, Claptrap. Oh, yes, you may have seen that every now and then I get something called a badass rank. For doing certain, like, little mini achievements, you get badass points, which you can use to buy permanent upgrades to all of the characters, like, on your, like, account or whatever. So, right now, I'm actually boosted up on a lot of different stats just because this is, like, my fifth character. I could turn them off, but just for the sake of convenience and not just sucking this entire time, I'm going to leave them on. Because I am not good at this. Like, I will need every every little bit of help I can get. Let's see. Oh, actually, you know what? I can't really get headshots, but with this much of a damage multiplier, I might be able to just take them out with body shots. So let's see. Ah, actually, you know what? Doesn't seem like it's going to work. Even so... I can exhaust my set of bullets just to make sure I don't hit hit as much. I mean, the bullets won't be doing me any good just stating in my inventory. What are you... you hey, hey. You ready for an epic pun? You ready? Here it comes. Chill. God, I feel like a fucking badass superhero. Not superhero. Action hero. 
I mean, I guess it doesn't matter either way. Ah, Gage, focus. Sorry. I mean, I'm a, I'm a brutal murderer, but I don't want to be rude, you know. Here, take a nice little nap. Yes. Fuck you. Peekaboo. Oh, I'm gonna let this guy come to me. Ah, uh, Kamikaze. Shabam. Damn, son. <laughs> hey, guy. Don't lose your head. Bam. <laughs> I love these stupid corny puns. Well, I don't even know what they're puns. They're more like just random wordplay. There we go. And, oh crap. Oh no, whatever will I do? Maybe this. Okay. No, I want to hurt more things. Also, there's a treasure chest here. So, oh crap, what was I about to say? The, the little light blue objective, you can see at the top right, it has my objectives for this mission. The light blue one is optional. I don't have to complete it, but I will get like rewards or like bonus experience for doing it. I should probably summon Death Trap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I mean, I might as well. I'm already here, and there's stuff that's alive, so why not kill it? <laughs> I don't like anything, so why not destroy everything? Am I a psychopath? Oh, well, if I, if I am, I probably don't care. And I don't, so probably yes. Yo, this car engine right here, look at it, look at it. What do you think it is? It's not a car engine anymore. It's a freaking loot chest. I, I never, like, for the longest time, I thought this was just some weird ass, just decoration. I didn't know you could open it and find stuff. This is actually worse than my current shotgun. And this one has better reload speed and magazine size, but that is not worth the trade-off. So, that was pointless. I mean, I could, I could still sell this stuff, but it's, like, money in this game, personally, is not that important to me. Because I get most of my equipment, or at least the better equipment, from finding it off of enemies, so... Resistance lost a good man today, but I'm sure Reese would have been happy to know how quickly you wiped out those bloodshots. Yeah, nothing screams just death like a... I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, nothing screams honor like blindlessly murdering things. Anyway, back to... Like, you do sometimes find some pretty cool stuff in the, uh, like, vending machines where you buy things, but I tend to just find the equipment I use. Like, once or twice, you'll find, like, a legendary item in the, uh, legendary, or the, uh, vending machines, but it's not often. And even if it is, it's one of the, it tends to be one of the lesser legendaries, which sometimes aren't as good as regular guns, so there'd be no point to grabbing it, or spending all that money on it. I do buy lots of ammo. That's like the main reason for having money in this game to me, but even then, it's... You'll have enough money to buy ammo. Thank God. Oh wait, I left someone alive. You know what? You live. You live and deal with the fact that all your friends are dead. Actually... You know what? You don't live. My robot will take care of you. I don't have time for this. There are other things that need my death granting powers. Oh, hey, I missed all these. I should pick these up so I can sell them for that Don't money I just said I don't need. Like, I still, like, obsessively pick up and sell items just due to the fact that I can't help it. I do that in, like, the Elder Scrolls game, too. Games, too. Like, I never really buy that much stuff, but my god, if I don't try to make as much gold as I possibly can. I'm like, sweet, look at all this money I don't use. Awesome. That's about how I do this. I do in this game. I almost, I feel like it's almost guaranteed that they're going to make a sequel to this. I don't think it's official this yet, but is a message oh. to Sanctuary, the last stronghold of the Resistance, and or as you knew it, the Chaos, the Bandits. That time has passed. If you let it, this could be an era of order. Please, just turn yourselves in, and I promise your deaths will be quick. I'm standing still so I don't skip this like little thing of dialogue he's about to do. I was lying about the last part, by the way. I'm gonna spend a long time torturing you bandit scum to death. And I'll enjoy it even more because... I, I, I shouldn't say... I got a little secret that I... You know what? You know... It'll probably just come to you. Yeah. Ciao. Yeah, if I'd gone too far, he wouldn't have said all that. I just wanted you to see that he's, a, uh, He's, a uh, Kinda evil. Uh, I didn't make it. Where's my car? Stupid car, not going over walls. Roland, is that you? Nope. Oh, it's the vault hunter. Get in quick. 
Rola's echo communicator went dead. We need your help. And we're off to Sanctuary. Oh crap, I'm sorry, I was saying. So yes, this is Sanctuary. This is where we'll be spending a lot of time in the game, just <laughs> getting our stuff together. Huh? Well done. It'll be nice to see a friendly face when I'm burning that place to the ground. Oh, and I have decided that I will tell you my secret later on. Once you've earned it. <gasps> Yay, I love secrets. Secrets. Okay, anyway, we will explore Sanctuary in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye, folks.